Hi everybody, my name is Robert Burns. I'm the owner of the Space Coast Rocket. As many of you know, last year we had a humanitarian mission when the big freeze hit San Antonio and all of Texas really. And what I decided to do was to rent a big U-Haul. It was actually a Penske truck. And I put out a message to members of my community and we were able to fill that truck with emergency supplies for those people that desperately need it. And I drove it from here all the way to San Antonio. And I can't emphasize enough to you how much it meant to those people to receive just the basic necessities. Unfortunately, uh, due to the devastation that we've seen here in our own state in Florida uh, as of yesterday, uh, we're in need to do those, that same type of mission again. Uh, one of my brothers in arms and classmates, Tim Ellison, attorney Tim Ellison, uh, reached out to me about putting together another mission uh, and we're going to get two trucks this time, um, uh, drive them to Naples and drive them to Fort Myers. Both, both cities which have been absolutely devastated as I'm sure you've seen most of the coverage on the news already. Um, what we're going to try to do, I sent an email to Penske last, last year. They were kind enough to uh, reimburse me for the truck. So I sent an email to them to see if they would just sponsor uh, two trucks up front. Um, we would take more trucks if we, if we could and maybe we can do that. But the, the, the mission is right now, the goal is to at least take two uh, 24 or 26 foot trucks is full with as much supplies as we possibly can. I've reached out to the mayor of Fort Myers and also the mayor of Naples and I also reached out to the fire department that was flooded in Naples uh, through their Facebook page to try to coordinate with them as to find the, the proper area to bring the goods to and distribute them there. I'm also going to contact our Sheriff Wayne Ivey because I know that he sent uh, some of his law enforcement personnel to help with uh, search and rescue missions there so he may have some uh, boots on the ground there that can help coordinate to facilitate uh, how we can distribute these goods once we get there. The goal tomorrow is to once we get the trucks is to I will park my truck at the Vieira Walmart here off of uh, 95 and uh, North Wickham and then Tim is going to park a truck at the Walmart in Palm Bay. And what we did last year is if people brought their supplies, uh, that we, they could just bring them straight up to the truck and we'd sit there. I think I sat there about four hours last time. That's how long it took to fill up the truck. And we just loaded the supplies. If you didn't have supplies and you still wanted to donate, a lot of people just went inside to Walmart and they bought some of the basic necessities that the people would need. And I am reached out for a list of the things that they need the most, but you can just imagine, uh, you know, water is gonna be of high demand. We had people actually buy pallets of water from Walmart and they just brought them up on the forklift for us. So that would be very helpful. Um, you know, diapers, baby formula, non-perishable foods, dog foods, you know, pet foods, uh, clothes, underwear, you know, these, these people have lost everything. So just think of it, if you were in their position, what you would need and that's what we need to donate. Um, we even had people last year donate, uh, I think we do had two generators donated. So as we know, they are without power. They're pretty much off the grid, at least in the Fort Myers area. And uh, I know that they're working to help restore that now. Uh, but if there is anyone willing to donate generators, we will also be able to take those as well. So right now, everything is still tentative, depending on how things go in the morning. But I wanted to get this message out now so that people could start to think about if they want to help. We could certainly use volunteers at the donation sites to help load the truck. It's very, very labor intensive. Um, I was doing it almost by myself last time. Uh, so just walking up and down the ramp, taking those things into the truck. It, it actually takes a lot to fill those trucks up. So uh, anyone wants to come help uh, with the physical labor, um, I'm going to be driving the truck myself. Tim and his son are going to be driving a truck. It's about a five hour drive. Uh, so thankfully we're not driving all the way to Texas this time. But I'm going to put a list of uh, things that we are going to be requesting that people donate in this video. Also, if people want to donate monetarily, whether it's to help pay for the truck or help to pay for gas or food or what have you, um, I'm going to put the Cash App and the Venmo. A lot of people did that last time. I, I got so much donations while making the trip in Texas to Texas that I had to make stops at Walmarts along the way just to spend up the money to get more and more supplies. Our community is really great. We, we were very lucky here in Brevard County that we didn't see nearly the devastation that we've seen in some of these other places. So 
because we were fortunate, we're going to try to help those that were not as fortunate and try to get this mission together. Um, I will post this video with as much information as possible. I ask that you share it or tag someone that you know that might be able to help or donate volunteer. And as we get a, a more solid plan and I get some more feedback from the elected officials there, uh, we'll, we'll put out more information as we get it. But again, thank you guys so much uh, for our help, for your help. Our community has always stepped up when it was needed. So I can't thank you enough and hopefully we can get these people uh, the help they need. Stay blessed.